All right, so let's talk about the uh, overturning or overruling or whatever of uh, DOMA. So DOMA is the Defense of Marriage Act. It was passed in 1996, I believe, uh, signed into law by Bill Clinton. If you want to read my essay on what a turd Bill Clinton was for this, um, I'll link to it below. It's in Guerrero. It's in Chapter 13 somewhere. Uh, but anyway, so so DOMA had three sections. The first one was the title. Um, Section two was no state, territory, or possession of the United States or Indian tribe shall be required to give effect to any public act, record, or judicial proceeding of any other state, territory, possession, or tribe respecting a relationship between persons of the same sex that is treated as marriage under the laws of such other state, territory, possession, blah, blah, blah. So the point is, if, if California recognizes gay marriage, those people move to Texas. Texas does not have to recognize that marriage. And that's actually part of the Constitution, I believe. Um, so Section 2 was not overruled. So even now, if Texas wants to say there's no gay marriage here, even couples from other states coming here, they will not be treated as married for the purposes of the state, of, of the state of Texas. Now, Section 3 says, definition of marriage. Uh, in determining the meaning of any act of Congress or any ruling, regulation, or interpretation of the various administrative bureaus and agencies of the United States, the word marriage means only a legal union between one man and one woman as a husband and wife, and the word spouse refers only to a person of the opposite sex who is a husband or a wife. So basically what this, the, what, what this said is, for the purposes of the federal government, even if there is a state that says uh, a marriage can be two men or two women, the federal government could not recognize that. This is the section that was overturned. So the federal government now has to acknowledge whatever state's same marriage is. So if there's two men who marry in California and they file a tax return, the federal government has to acknowledge that as marriage because the federal government can't define what a marriage is. Okay. Only the states can. Now, there's a couple. I could go into all the absurdities. Well, let me just go into one. Uh, if you read the gripping 2,000-page uh, memorandum that they put out, uh, which I unfortunately had to do. Um, well, I didn't have to, but, you know, I wanted to, I suppose. I just don't want to admit it. And uh, it starts off in, in a very federalistic uh, tone, which is so, sort of ironic because it's always conservatives who are babbling on about states' rights. And yet the ruling sounds like states' rights, like the states have the right to discriminate, but the states have to, but the states also get to impose on the federal government what their own marriages are, how they define that. So it's kind of ironic, you know, that um, that uh, the Supreme Court ruled that states get to tell the federal government what marriage is, including uh, two men or two women. Um, but really, the bigger question is, you know, why are consensual relationships between people, uh, any kind, whether it's sex, whether it's commerce, whether it's, you know, anything. Why is it up for, you know, nine old men in black row and, and a couple lesbians? Uh, I, I forget now. Uh, why is it up to nine, nine people in black robes to decide this in the first place? I mean, it's, it's, it's good they decided this way. I guess it's better than if they decided the other way. But why are consensual relationships up to nine people to decide in the first place. I mean, it's insane. Like, why are we doing this? Um, so anyways, uh, speaking of insane things, uh, in 1994, Kim Il-sung died in North Korea. And he was the leader of North Korea. And after he died, they were like, oh, he's so wonderful. We're going to make him the eternal president of North Korea. And that sounds kind of loony, right? Like a dead guy is the president of a country. However, it's actually not as crazy as basically the Supreme Court. I mean, the Supreme Court's job is to interpret the Constitution. You know, what would the founders think? And that's insane. I mean, basically, you have nine old men and a couple lesbians now. Uh, they gather around apparently an Ouija board, and then they're like, I wonder what Thomas Jefferson would have thought. I mean, it is absolutely insane. You know, uh, this country is basically run by a committee of dead people from 1789. And we have nine people in black robes, like it's some kind of satanic cult. 
sitting around in a Ouija board saying, I wonder what these dead people would have thought. What did, what did Thomas Jefferson think about two guys getting married? I, I, I just wonder. So anyways, that's completely insane, but you won't hear that in the news. But anyways, that's that. And uh, see you next time.